Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I just wanted to produce a quick video to show you our wireless keyboard. We have two types um, in two different colours. The first type which comes in a larger box, this one here, it comes with a numeric keypad. The second type in the smaller box, it has no numeric keypad. Um, so it'll arrive in these boxes, as you can see, they're very rigid. Uh, all the keyboards come in white boxes, whether you order a black or a white keyboard, it will arrive in the white box. Um, so when you open your keyboard box, this is what you'll be presented with. The keyboard, this is your mouse, here, and instruction manual. Um, keyboards, uh, all the keyboards come with silicone membrane. To the, over the keys. This membrane helps protect your keyboard from dirt, sticky fingers. You can leave it on or take it off, um, but please only wash these under cold tap by hand, as if you put them in the dishwasher they end up in pieces and be of no use to you. So here we can see uh, the black non-numeric keyboard. It's very nifty and incredibly useful. These keyboards take uh, two Take two triple A batteries. This here, I'm trying to get the battery indicator, but this here's the battery indicator. If your batteries are going low, uh, about to run out, this indicator will come on. This will not come on when you first put the batteries in, it's only when your batteries are running out this will come on. Um, so if we turn the keyboard over, you can see uh, this is where the batteries go in. Two AAA batteries, negative to the left, and that's your keyboard function. Put that in. Here we have the mouse. It's small, mini mouse for a mini keyboard. Um, it's very straightforward to use. Below, that's your USB dongle. And play a bit of pressure to the top, pull it back, and that's where your other battery goes in. So, Three AAA batteries in total. Um, now, I just wanted to show the rest of the keyboards. So, the next keyboard we have is non numeric white. As you can see there, just hold that up. This is a bit tricky. And your wee mouse, just the same. It's black on the uh, This is the black with numeric keypad. As you can see there, the mouses are slightly different in these models. With the numeric keypad, the mouses are slightly bigger, so they are. And you can see there, the USB dongle is actually under the cover, so it is, as opposed to below. So. That's the black with numeric keypad. And the last keyboard is the white with numeric keypad. Um, as you can see, there it is there. These keyboards are a must have with smart TVs and browsing using the smart TV remote control, it's just not feasible and it will become quite tedious. So, well, so in the next clip uh, I'm going to go through a smart TV setup. Hello everyone, so we're here set up a Samsung smart TV, it's a 2014 model and I just wanted to show you what it's like operating smart TV using a remote control. So I'm going to start by hitting the smart button and from there we will go into the browser take a wee minute so here we are in Google Browser. Um, I'm using the directional arrows there. Trying to. Yeah, like I said, trying to. Right there. Once you do that, you'll be presented with an on screen QWERTY keyboard. Now, if you imagine you're searching for uh, anything. Uh, Spotify, YouTube, 
that's going to take quite a long time to get around that we'll go with YouTube so nearly spell so you make a spelling mistake you're going back you can't even see the search bar so you get the general idea it's, it's not the best option when using a smart TV to use your remote control so next we're going to look at um, setting up the wireless keyboards that we sell back in a second now we're going to go through setting up the wireless keyboard uh, we'll just do an unboxing for all the time it takes so this is what you receive mini keyboard silicone membrane set that to the side first things first wireless keyboard as you can see there on the back you have a wee cap to cover where your batteries go in carefully remove that so uh, we recommend using quality batteries Duracell and the like um, cheap batteries uh, they're not they're cheap so negative side left one two two triple A batteries these are not included with the keyboard cap back on like that that's that done so the mouse we'll move the mouse we'll set that up there and all you do is take the mouse apply a wee bit of pressure there pull it back remove the cap and you'll be presented with that and take one AAA battery negative side to the spring cap down red light should flash and put the cap back on next part is the wireless dongle which is here on the bottom of the mouse so now we need to put this in the back of the side of your smart TV depending on what type of TV, smart TV you have um, the USB slot will either be in the side or it will be in the back in this particular model it's on the back and you just simply take the USB dongle and insert it into the slot like so and that's that we've turned the TV back around <coughs> we're just going to reconnect the USB dongle push it back in and as you can see here this is what you'll be presented with a new device has been connected to the TV this device may not support some apps very few apps it doesn't support One thing we'll have to do is make sure that the keyboard is set to US and how we do that is we go menu on the remote down to system down to device manager keyboard settings select keyboard options keyboard type so this set to US the reason being this the keyboards are US models with the ad symbol up here and if you select any other keyboard type um, the ad symbol won't work or alternatively you could simply push alt this button here alt and 64 for the ad symbol and alt and 156 for the pound sign So we'll just exit out of that, making sure it's on yes, go down to close, I mean you can use the mouse for this once it's installed as well, there we go, and just go up the top, make sure you can see that, exit. So again once you click on the search bar, the on screen QWERTY keyboard comes up but we don't want that because we have our new mouse so we'll go with type 
BBC iPlayer for example and hit enter and here we have it, BBC iPlayer and using the mouse I can now just browse the internet like I'm on a PC from the comfort of my own armchair here we have BBC iPlayer channels, you can see they are recently watched and Spectre drawers. So you get the general idea, it makes life so much easier and it, it's a, these keyboards are a must have uh, with smart TVs. To buy this product and many more, please visit our online shop by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks very much for watching our product video. We hope you found it useful and informative.